incarceration is the new Jim Crow. The new Jim Crow. According to Michelle Alexander. That's right. Black men around the country are disenfranchised as a result of incarceration. And we must begin to make that issue known. We must begin to let our voices be heard in terms of shutting prisons down in America. We must begin to call for the release of all nonviolent offenders, all drug offenders. We must begin to call for the release of nonviolent offenders in America. Call for the release of those individuals who are and locked up for non-violent drug offenses. Prisons do not work. Prisons do not work. And we must begin, prisons do not work, and we must begin to make that a part of the agenda of DC Occupy. We must make that a part of the agenda. We must begin to talk about how we can begin to shut the doors of incarceration, tear prisons down, jobs not jails, jobs not jails, jobs not jails.
battles that these racist bosses are throwing at us. In fact, what we need is not just to close down Wells Fargo, but to close down the capitalist system. We need a revolution against these bosses. We need unity against racism. And with that, we will make a difference in this world. So I encourage you to keep up this struggle. I'll be out here. I actually work down the street, so I'll be around to help you close this place down and to close the city down when next year in July, the contract for the Metro bus drivers comes up, just as a, a, a looking ahead a little, and they're likely to need to close the city down with a lot of support from you, because the government has been attacking those workers over and over again with more and more racist attacks. So we would encourage you to keep an eye on that event as well. So I just want to say, let's build towards this revolutionary movement. Five seconds. I say something. Five seconds, real fast. Five seconds. I, okay. uh, uh, I just want to make the very quick point that if Wells Fargo didn't fund prison, these cops around here would have nowhere to take us, uh, and therefore the cops have a vested interest in Wells Fargo. Uh oh. <laughs> It's good to see all these people out here. Uh, what I want to say is particularly directed toward my people, African people in the neighborhood, in the community, passing by. We don't need to be just passing by. We need to be right up front and center in this issue. This issue disproportionately. This the issue disproportionately affects African people, people of color. We're talking about the prison industrial complex, y'all. The idea about the prison industrial complex. What that means is there are a bunch of interlocking institutions and agencies that serve as a machine that puts us in prison. Why are we in prison in so many numbers has nothing to do with us being prone to be criminals or anything like that. It's because people make money. That's why. And we need to understand, Wells Fargo's just one of them. It's just the tip of the tip of the iceberg. Whacking Hut. Whacking Hut, Geo Group, CCA, Correctional Corporation. We can name them all. We can name even by, you know, other corporations that aren't directly related to it. But the point is, I mean, we got people that make money off of the potions that put people to death. The shackles that are used to, to chain us up and march us through the street and throughout the, the institutions that they put us in. That's why we in prison. Bob Barker, jail Because hygiene. people make money. Yeah. It's modern day slavery, y'all. Yeah. And then when we in prison, they're making us work for nothing. Yeah. It's slave labor. Yeah. Right. That's why the Occupy movement is directly related to it because we're talking about the, the obscene, incestuous relationship between corporations and the, and the United States government. That's right, yeah. They got an incestual relationship. They serve each other hand in hand, and it's time to stop. They're not looking out for us. It's a profit before people into, I mean, a, a organization that they got going on. It's a criminal enterprise. We want, it's a criminal enterprise. We want to flip it over. We want to make sure that we live in a society and we build a society that's based on people before profit. Wild Fargo, we're going to shut them down. And, and you know what? The other one's going to come after us.
We should not allow this bank to use Dunbar's name to occupy this space. Take back this bank and put an insurance company will help black people in this building. Again. Just wanted to say, if anyone here has a Wells Fargo account, it would be really cool if you went in there, took all your money out, and closed your account. If you have a Wells Fargo account, the officers over here are letting you in. So uh, that's all.
It just goes to show they put all this money into putting you behind bars for a nonviolent offense, and then it said when you come out, you're going to be older, more bitter, unemployable, so forth and so on. So I actually encourage all of you to Google that article. It's called We Are the Guilty, and, and read it. I mean, it's, it's an awesome read. Thank you. Yes, man, we, we out here. Okay. We out here once again, man, just demonstrating in D.C., Occupy D.C., where y'all at? Yeah. Yes! Yes! The banks have been, the banks have been bailed out, we've been sold out. The banks have been bailed out, we've been sold out. Banks been bailed out, we've been sold out. Banks have been bailed out, we've been sold out. Banks have been bailed out, we've been sold out. These banks have been bailed out, we've been sold out. And you know, uh, what, what I think they aren't saying enough is that we're actually in the Shaw community, which is a poor black neighborhood, you know, and a lot of these folk are actually the ones ending up in the prisons, you know. Right. So, did you hear what I said a minute ago on, on, the, on the bullhorn about, about how that there's an article online called We Are the Guilty, you know, and, and what it's about is there was this European lawyer who came to the U.S., then he, he became the head juror in this case against the homeless man. The homeless man had been caught in the in the bathroom of a park after hours, and he had a, a, well, there's a a piece of crack crack cocaine on the sink and a stem on the floor. So he got charged with it. It, it might have been his, but even so, you know, it wasn't in his hand. And, and so he, he was in jail for six months. And it's it's a it's a real a real good read. I mean, it, 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 it says how that he was in jail for six months, and he was all groomed and everything. And the court made sure to get a picture of him, which is about that big. And put it on a tripod showing how he looked when he got arrested because I guess they wanted to make sure that people knew how he looked as a homeless man you know and, and uh, so the, the, the jury actually found him innocent they came back and, and read a verdict and said we are the guilty we society didn't care about you when you were homeless on the street we didn't care that you were hungry you know then you, 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 you poisoned your body with a, a piece of